Neapolitan is a short film about Zach Brenner, a 27-year-old college grad working in an ice cream parlor, which has sucked the life and ambition out of him over the last five plus years. Zach Brenner, he's a college graduate, just nothing too extraordinary. He graduated from school, got his degree, was looking to go get a job in the field that he wanted to work in. Uh, that kind of took a lot longer than he thought, so he got a temporary job at the ice cream parlor, which ended up just becoming part of his routine. He just stayed there. He didn't really find any way out. He didn't really want to at a certain point because it was just what he knew and what he was doing. Has found his inspiration to get on to the next chapter. He's been working in what we'd like to say the most polar opposite location that he could find himself in and that's an ice cream parlor. And is essentially just stuck on the conveyor belt of life and letting it pull him along and uh, couldn't be more miserable in his situation. Now this contrast to the environment in which he's working, a very happy, upbeat ice cream shop, poses for a really uh, unique aspect and, a, and, a, and a, a nice atmosphere for a deadpan comedy. Uh, the only people within arm's reach of Zach are his nagging boss, who constantly belittles him for his lack of emotion and enthusiasm, and his deadbeat roommate, who sits around on the couch playing video games all day. Zach's day-to-day -day routine gets shaken up when he meets Jessica Mitchell when she walks into his ice cream parlor, and the two share a common dislike for their jobs. Jessica's character really allows Zach to take a different perspective and, and, and perceive a bad situation with a different outlook. Here, your turn. Oh, uh, no, I, I'm good. No, 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 you're not good. You need to try this. Um, I mean, uh, Just give me this. Watch. So let me get this right. You've had the same job for seven years. You have this useless degree that you're just wasting by working at said job. And you're okay with that? Yeah. At least you can eat all the free ice cream you want, right? Actually, I can't. I'm lactose intolerant. The two form a friendship and Jessica teaches Zach how to deal with the day-to-day -day monotony he's feeling. You could definitely say that there's a bit of a spark for a bit of a romance uh, hinted within it. Jessica tells Zach the truth about herself, which alters their friendship and leads Zach to make a very difficult decision. To make matters worse for Zach, his roommate Ted breaks the news to him that he's moving out at the end of the week and that Zach has limited time to find a new living situation. This puts him in a financial bind as well as uh, provokes a lot of added stress in, in the story. Neapolitan deals with the postgraduate life and the monotony of day-to-day -day routines, getting stuck in something you're not really passionate about and the attempt to break away from that. Neapolitan is really it's a story that, that expresses, that, that demonstrates that change is inevitable and how it's very easy to get stuck in the routine of life and that, you know, however, when, when you focus everything inward, it's easy to miss on a lot of what's going on on the outside. 